Well, Javier Espinosa is a Spanish journalist who escaped from Homs in the last few days, and he joins me live now from Beirut. Uh, Javier, can you tell us more about your experience of Homs? Well, uh, Babalamar, it's uh, right now in a deep humanitarian crisis. Everything is lacking there. I mean, you can imagine that bread, for example, is a luxury. Water is a luxury. They are burying the dead and the, the night and under the fire of the sniper. They cannot even go to the formal graveyard. And it's, we're talking about 20,000 people hiding during the day in houses without shelter. There are no shelters there. There is only one bunker. It's not a bunker, actually. It's a, it's a restaurant. And the rest of the, of the people are just hiding in houses that they consider safe, which are not safe at all. They consider safe a house with three floors instead of one floor. So, so everything is being targeted. It's a, randomly, a random shelling that start early in the morning and finish up early in the afternoon. So it's really a deep uh, humanitarian crisis. And uh, you, you talk about shelling. Uh, was there action on the ground as well? Was there a ground assault? They were trying to enter for the past few days that I was there, yeah. At least four days of uh, the ones I was there, they were trying to enter, they couldn't advance. But it seems, because I've been in contact with them even after leaving, that they have managed to enter the, the place. And did many try and get out, or did people decide they would stay regardless? No, they tried to get out, at least the civilians that could manage to walk, the, even the wounded that could not even walk. I mean, during the day we escaped, there were like uh, 20 wounded. Some of them were just uh, being carried with blankets. They could not walk at all because they have uh, deep injuries in, the, in their legs. So they are trying to escape because they are very afraid of what is going to happen after the army take over the neighborhood. How badly needed is this convoy from the ICRC, which is on its way? It's very, very important because, as I told you, everything ran out in the past few days. It's a real, very strong siege, so nothing come in now and nothing can go out, or mostly nothing. So they need everything, everything that can be bring, it would be fantastic for them. And especially to evacuate the wounded. I mean, the condition there for the wounded are terrible. I mean, the hospital are, is lacking of everything. People are dying on the hospital because they, as a doctor told me, we are improvising. We are doing things that we never learned in the university. We are not uh, following the rules because they don't have equipment to follow the, what we learn in the university. So we improvise. Javier, many thanks indeed for joining us in Beirut.